Hello, everyone. Today, I want to. Sorry, <laughs> I'm so nervous. Today, I'd like to talk about graph art with Chat API. In this talk, I want to show you how to use it for artistic expression. Before we get started, let me briefly introduce myself. I'm Akihiko Sato, a software engineer at DNA. Last year, I got the chance to attend WWDC in person for the first time. It was a great ride and still keeps me motivated today. Unfortunately, I didn't make it into WWDC this year. Maybe next time. All right, let's drive in. So, how many of you are already using the Charts API since its debut at WWDC 22? I'm sure many of you have tried it. At WWDC last year, Charts API got some exciting updates with new features like curves, access control, and even support on Mac OS. It's more flexible than ever before. Here are some highlights from the update. Line plot and area plot API, parametric functions, piecewise functions, and richer data visualizations. The expressive power of the API has significantly expanded. But honestly, how often do we really get to use all of this? So what can you actually do with all these features, even if they don't come up in daily work? We might discover some unexpected possibilities, even if we shift on our perspective a bit. And so, I gave it a chance. What happens if we make chart API and go beyond data visualization? What if we treat it as medium for art? That's the theme of today's talk, Graph Art with Chat API. I experimented with using the API to draw graphics from math equations. From here, I introduced a few pieces I've created. All of them use only three charts. I incorporated mathematical equations and creative techniques to make each one visually expressive. Hope you enjoy them. Let's begin with this. It's graph garden. It uses loads curves to draw the petals and leaves. And a sine arc tangent combination to create stems and ground. It's just a correction of line plot. But with layering curve mass, it turns into something like an illustration. Here is a code for the flower. It uses line plot, calculating each point using polar coordinates. To adjust the shape, I added vertical scaling and little tilt using their transformation. Next. Happy matrix. It draws a simple smiley face using a circle equation. The face itself is made with an area plot, and the eyes and mouth use line plot. This chart represents the mood of a matrix. When the numbers are good, it's smile back at you. Here's how it works. I draw the circle by calculating y start and y end for each x value. This uses basic circle equation. It's simple math. But 
it uses the area plot field to make clean shape. And here's the final look. I added some shine using Swift UI layer gradient to give it softer and friendlier expression. Lastly, one more pixel. This one is pixel art built with rectangle plot. Each point is drawn a tiny square. You might recognize who it is. And here's the code. Each rectangle represents a single pixel. The X and Y coordinates, along with color data, are used to plot everything all at once. It's just a lot of dead point, but together, they create something recognizable. So that was some of my graph art. But what matters is what you create. Imagine what you can create. What kind of graph art would you design? Now, it's your turn. With the power of Swift charts, you can design your kind of graph art, have fun, and be creative. Are you Swift enough? Swift charts isn't just a visualization tool, it's also a canvas for creativity. I hope this talk gave you some new ideas for using charts in fun and creative ways. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>